Hey, how are you? I'm Marina Orms and I'm bringing you the Astro Vibe for July 19th. Um, and uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, some alignments and an Aries moon that are happening today that can potentially bring shifts in power. Um, so what, do, what does that mean? What does that look like? We, um, we've got uh, Pluto, which is a very slow moving outer planet in later degrees of Capricorn. Right now it's at 27 degrees Capricorn. It's been in Capricorn since 2008. We're actually getting to the end of Pluto's journey through Capricorn. And uh, it's bringing uh, Pluto the bulldozer comes through and brings transformation. It digs up the ground from the bottom up and um, and it do is doing that currently in the sign of Capricorn, which has to do with our systems, our structures, our, um, our foundations, our, our um, rules, and the systems that we follow. So uh, we've got some, obviously, some destabilization happening in our systems and our government and our, uh, you know, our, our laws that we follow and abide by and really the very structure of the reality that we live in. Um, so that's happening as a background theme since 2008. Uh, it's obviously very slow moving, but it is punctuated by different moments that we've been talking about. Uh, if you've been following me for all these years, uh, we've been talking about as we go through each uh, different phase. But anyway, um, so today what's happening is that the sun, which is in Cancer, and the sun goes around you know, spends about a month in each sign. So it goes all the way around the Zodiac every year, which is why we have 12 different signs, depending on what time of year you're born. Um, but uh, the sun is at 27 degrees Cancer today. And that is the point opposite Pluto, the Cancer and Capricorn are opposite signs. And uh, that highlights that axis, that polarity, this pull between these two energies of uh, Capricorn, which is, again, you know, it's about our structures and what we stand on and, and what we stand for and what our principles are. Um, and that's opposing the sun in Cancer and Cancer energy is about uh, mothering, caring, feelings, emotions, sensitivity, right? It's, it's water. It's anything but uh, structure. <laughs> so, so you have the, the, the polarity highlighted today between uh, structures and how we care for people, how we feel, what our um, sensitivities are attuned to and, and what we need when we feel sensitive, how to get our needs met. So that can be everything from, um, you know, just knowing that a friend is there for you to how we take care of each other in the collective, how we meet the needs of people who um, are, you know, are the people who don't have as much in the culture. So, or um, people who have needs, right? Disabilities or people who are less fortunate or, you um, you know, all those words sound kind of trite to me. So I just want to say that it's about taking care of one another and how we recognize that we are interconnected and how we um, recognize that when we take care of our neighbor, when they have needs, that they're going to take care of us when we have needs and that that, uh, that mutual reciprocal way of expressing caring and uh being there for our needs and uh, emotional processes um, is, is a really important part of, of society and of our, um, uh, our well-being um, individually and uh, collectively. So we have this, um, this feeling of, you know, okay, if there, there's an either or, which is what an opposition brings. It brings an either or feeling. Either we're going to attend to our systems and structures, or we're going to take care of those with needs, but we can't have both. And what's happening is that as we have that, uh, that opposition going on, which uh, the sun, you know, passes through about a degree every day, 
Um, so it's, it's, a, it's an energy that's up today, you know, for a couple of days uh, before and after as the sun passes through that zone. But um, the moon additionally is in Aries and will be, it's moving through the second half of Aries in the next 24 hours, um, you know, from Tuesday morning, my time, Pacific time. Um, and so if over the next 24 hours, the moon is moving through the, the, the second half of Aries and will be uh, at the end of that time period, passing through a T-square that activates um, it'll be in a square to both uh, the sun and Pluto. And, um, and that, that T-square energy is a pressure. It's a pressure to evolve. With Aries, we have the energy of needing to take action, make a decision. Uh, check out my video from yesterday because I talked quite a bit about that and what that can look like. Um, and then also as it's coming into this T-square to activate uh, the polarity between the Pluto energy and the sun energy or the cancer energy and the, or the Capricorn energy and the cancer energy. And um, as the moon comes through there in Aries saying it's time for action, it's time to actually activate um, a shift in how we view this paradox, this polarity. It is about um, reclaiming something that says we need caring in our institutions. We need a government that reflects our needs as human beings, um, our needs, our physical and our emotional needs, our, our need for well-being on all levels. Um, we need a way of caring that can be systematized, right? We need a way of caring for one another that can be, you know, come an expectation in our cultures, in our norms, um, in the way that we expect one another to behave. And so there's this potential for action as we um, work with that Aries moon energy, um, actions, decisions that can be made that can help to uh, shift that balance of power, integrate that polarity, and uh, provide a new way forward. So um, again, you know, there obviously are big things happening in the world that need our attention. And, and it's not something that you as one individual can snap your fingers and see change, but um, you're one cog in the wheel, right? So if uh, you are working on your own, um, in your own corner of the world, your own community, your own life to stand up for what's important to you, to take action on the things you believe in, to state the, the principles and values that, that are important to you as we grapple with this question, this um, polarity or paradox about how caring can be um, systematized and needs to be systematized in a different way than uh, it has been maybe a hundred years ago or 200 years ago when uh, there was a lot more inequality than there is even now, even though, of course, we're grappling with themes of inequality and uh, questions of um, who's got the power. So the power is it dwells within you and what is your power and where is your power and how can you take action and make a decision in your life um, that supports the shift in that balance of power to stand up for what's important to you. It's a great opportunity to work on that today. So thanks for watching. Check me out again tomorrow. Uh, we'll, we've got the moon shifting into Taurus. And I will let you know what that will bring. All right. See you then. Thanks for subscribing and liking and commenting on my videos. I sure appreciate it. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye for now.